Whew. Hello. <laughs> Came back to my seat just in time. Whole 14 people say what's up. <laughs> say what's up. Leave a comment, a like, something. I can't stand when people show up. And you know, y'all just be acting all dry like y'all don't know how to converse with other people. Like, what's good? <laughs> Oh man. Hello, Nicole. Like, thank you for coming back. <laughs> thank you so much for coming back and being here with me so we could get all into a hey, got my wine for this. You need some wine for this episode. Like, you need some wine. Make sure y'all chime in. Say what's up. Do not come come into the party holding up the wall and stuff. You know, people just, you know, people like really want to dance, but they just like in my seat, your seat dancer. That's that's low key me. Like you wanted no, I'm I'm good. You just be in your in your seat. <laughs> like <laughs> let me see what's good. Hello, how are you doing? Thank you for returning. Look at look at y'all. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming back. I had fun earlier talking about Wu Tang getting into snowfall. This is a whole other bagger like man yo what up fam i finally caught a live thank you so much for being here yes you know i'm going live more so you guys should be catching them more often hello thank you guys so much for being here like i'm just gonna sit this over here for all of a second <clears throat> how did you guys feel about this episode like I mean, I was chilling because it's not like we didn't know Jerome died, but for us to open with the like bury him now, like prep the body now, I was like, well, all right. <laughs> it was just so freaking instant. Thank you, Suge. Like, thank you for being here. It was so freaking instant. Like, everybody can hear me. I think we're all good. We can start talking about Snowfall because this episode, we got to talk about Franklin because Franklin, I mean, my eye been on Franklin, but I put my eye on Franklin like hard this episode because where do you find the blessing? Like Frank was like, I don't care about none of this. <laughs> I do not care about any of this. Getting into this, like just Louis being stuck, like, what am I supposed to do now without my husband? It like it didn't, I was gonna say, like, it almost looked like she wanted to go with him. She definitely wanted to go with Jerome because what am I supposed to do now? Girl, we don't know. <laughs> we don't know. Like, you don't need no more time, Louis. I just need some more time. You, you don't want no more time? I bet you don't want that time now. Like, let, let me come correct, because you know. <laughs> Like now the church is in moaning, moaning, like <laughs> Aunt Sally, the church is in moaning. The church was in moaning because it was just instant. Get the body ready. And I was looking at Franklin. I was like, all right, Franklin, you know, maybe he's having a moment of, you know what? I can't break down. This is not, not the time. This is clearly still the night of. It's like, I need everything low key, no cops. Get him ready. But throughout the episode, the energy from Franklin and me just turned into, so y'all gonna give me my money or what? Because I, I ain't got time to be mourning over this body. Like, it was giving, I shed my tears over, you know, his passing. I think that 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 unk, unk, unk and them tears we got last episode, that, that's all Franklin can muster up because that's cool, but I still need my $73 million. That's, that's what I was getting into. <laughs> and not to say like, I was not feeling sorry for Louie here because y'all know how I, it was Louie. You know how I feel about Louie. Louie just, oh God, this funeral home. It was just so official to see this freaking funeral home and then roll his body away. I was like, Jerome, who am I supposed to do impressions of now? Like, <laughs> I love me some Jerome, but <clears throat> just getting into Leon and him trying to be by her side. And it's just like, Hey, I can come with you if you need me to. And she's like, no, it's, it's, it's over now. Like, first of all, it ain't never over. <laughs> it's never over. But just in this moment of Leon being with her, I was like, Ooh, it's Leon about to, you know, wake up and smell the roses and get his ass out the PJs. No, no, he not. He not like, we going to talk about Leah because as I said in the little title, Wanda needs to run. Don't walk. Why, why are you walking? 
run away from the projects. <laughs> Let's see. Yes, you was right. She doesn't want more time now. <laughs> no, she don't want no more time. Absolutely. Like, I can't stand freaking Louie, but just to see her here so battered and, and bruised, like outside of this throughout this episode, because, you know, we don't have a time jump or anything. You see all the, we, we saw it happen, but just to see everything on her body and like the scars that will be with her for the rest of her life. I was like, oh my God, Louie, girl, you look bad out here. <laughs> like, like the K branded on her chest, all of the burns, like, but none of this can compare to her losing Jerome. She is just absolutely lost, like lost, turned out and bewildered. Like she, she, she don't know where to go from here. But I, I was like, well, <clears throat> via the trailer, we already know she's not taking no accountability for nothing. <laughs> Not taking accountability for a thing. Dang, I'm late. Never late. What you talking about? We just started. <laughs> we just started. The church just got in the moaning. Moaning. Aunt Sally, we, we just we just got here. I ain't even shook the tambourine yet. You right on time. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, like there is absolutely no accountability on her part. Julia, I don't want to see you yet, girl. Why you here? <laughs> just getting into the whole situation with her being, I just was hoping like, and I, I don't know why, oh, I always be trying to give Louie a little credit. Like maybe, I think it's because she keeps going back and forth as we see in this episode, depending on who she's talking to, she takes a like accountability for, okay, well, maybe I did make the best choices. I keep winding up here. Like this is, you know, maybe my fault. But child, when we talking to the likes of Sissy or anybody else, yeah, it's all Franklin. Like, it's all your fault. Like, yeah, uh, not really. <laughs> not really. But child, we get into old Julia here. Let's see. Uh, hey, girl, did you hear about the spinoff? Of course I did. Where are we going with that? We better not. What's she going to do? Morning, Leon? Like, <laughs> I don't know. I love Wanda as a character, but I can't say that I would be like absolutely hyped up. Like, oh, if I would expect anybody to get like a spinoff, it wouldn't be Wanda. But I was looking like they said Wanda. They didn't say, um, I can't think, I think his name is it's Isaiah. I can't, I can't remember his full name, but basically Leon. It didn't say Wanda and Leon. It said Gail Bean. Like, I said, what's she going to be doing? Morning, Leah? Like, <laughs> working at the shelter? Where, where exactly are we going to go with that? There are a lot of places to go because Wanda is a very much so a real character, somebody who has been rehabilitated, gotten her life together. And you see those stories, especially like them true crime, them TLC channels, those, uh, you know, former addicts who uh, run shelters or just... just uh, help people in general out because they've been there and they can identify. And of course they can branch off into a million territories of Wanda out here saving the people. But I, did I jump up and down like, Ooh, uh, spin off with Wanda. I was like, where are we going with that? It didn't say Leon in it. So I'm like, what y'all trying to say? <laughs> Let's see. Jerome ain't even want to be in the game, but he loved Louie and followed her. We know, <laughs> we know, <laughs> not looking forward to that spinoff. Yeah, it's, you know, another black trauma show. You know, that's all we get. That's it. Selling crack in the 80s, as I like to call it. But we have, a, we have her roll up pregnant like, Teddy, did you steal Franklin's money? Well, well, yeah, I mean, it was for the government. I was doing my job, my my, my civic duty. No, you weren't. <laughs> you absolutely weren't. I was all here for, for the uh, ex-wife rolling up, not only fed up, but pregnant. Like, how long are we going to be here? I love when we have somebody who has history with Teddy and doesn't know this facade. He pulls up as, you know, I'm an agent and I'm just doing my job. Us as viewers, we've been rocking with Teddy, so we know it's been a long minute since you were just strictly doing your job. You took that money to spite Franklin, like it was for the government. And no, it wasn't. <laughs> it has it hasn't been for a very long time. As she said, you've been chasing this whole thing to prove yourself since the relationship that you had with your father. You need to grow up and move on and give give Franklin the money back. I was like, yeah, <laughs> like, but now when she said like a public execution, like like do it or before I have to do so I was like well Julia what you gonna do like what what you gonna do girl 
And then, you know, I was here for Julia rolling up with her energy and just them reading Teddy. Panera Bread gets on my nerves. Like, I just, I don't care for the dynamic of their relationship with Teddy. I, I still can't find the energy to care about any of their scenes together. But you have the both of these ladies identifying, like, you took it for what? Like, look at this, this rented apartment. Look at the walls, the floors, like, the clothes on your back. What were your intentions to do with this money? Like nothing he doesn't even know like do i want to take it and run away is it for the government was it just a spy I, I i don't know but this is this is our money because i'm teddy no it's not but it's just <laughs> it's just absolutely it, it, it gets on my nerves but we, we all know what's up with teddy teddy has not been just strictly doing his job for a very long time but panera bread did say you know i need to feel useful or you know i'm just gonna like you gonna what girl you gonna go all weird and crazy on us again because that's that, that's what i remember because even the ex-wife walked in like when did y'all start leaking up like you you talking to her you freaking on that if that's what you want to do like it was <laughs> like i know exactly what she's about but man let me only read some of these comments i'm only am i the only one that could care less about peaches well i i, I want to see peaches <laughs> I want to see Peaches. It's not about like not caring about Peaches because it's not like Peaches was, you know, a really super duper influential character on the show. But just to know why he disappeared and what he did with that money, I would like to know. <laughs> I would really like to know. Teddy works my nerves, him in parsnip. <laughs> yes, please hit the like button for this video. Here we have him rolling up to deliver the news to Sissy. I had already said, like watching last episode, if and when he tells Sissy and she doesn't do the old oh Lord Jesus, why? Something about to go down. Like, Sissy didn't like really let out anything. Just like, don't touch me. You move. Did my brother suffer? It's just like, no, it was, you know, it was quick. It's just like, you know what? I'm about to go. Sissy's entire energy to me this episode said, I'm about to leave and get out of here. This is never going to end. I, I, oh man, I, oh. <laughs> it was, it was just too much. Like the moment Sissy popped up at the funeral at the end with them braids out, I was like, okay, sis, sis, she leaving. <laughs> everybody abandon ship. Everybody, everybody take cover. Sissy didn't took her braids out because that is that is extremely significant. I don't know what's funny or your Teddy impression or Jerome. Like Teddy just Teddy just been getting on my nerves. <laughs> I miss Jerome. Like already. Poor Sissy, enough is enough. But like, I don't know. When we have these scenes with Sissy, I can't help but think about every single time Sissy tried, which I loved in this episode. Sissy taking accountability. Nobody's walking away with clean hands. We all contributed to where we are, where Franklin is, your husband, my brother, like my husband, like we all contributed to this. I just think about Sissy. I don't know if that was season one or two, her running after that cop car when they came to pick up Franklin and her just putting him on a pedestal. And she just knew Jerome, like you're out here corrupting my son, telling I ain't did nothing. I'm following this nigga. Like, I just think about all of that. And I know she's thinking about that in this moment too, because it's like, have we really come to this? My brother is dead. I feel like Sissy is about to freaking pull it out and disappear. Not, you know, that kind of disappear. But I'm like, we're, we're, what's what's going to happen? I think this was like absolutely confirmation of I need to get out of here. This is a vicious cycle. I don't want to be a part of it anymore. We got old Louie over here. Just like, I don't have nothing, you know. And it's like, girl, you're not the only one who lost anything. I lost my husband too. And my brother, like, what, what, what are you, what are you saying? It's just like, yeah, listen, yeah, you still got people you care about, and yeah, it's Franklin. Like, <sighs> the energy that she puts into blaming Franklin, I don't see her hold that same mirror up to herself. So, like, moving forward, Louis can get out my face. Honestly, <laughs> she, she can absolutely get out my face. Because what we're not gonna do is sit up here and act like we didn't do nothing to have our husband wind up to where he was. We could have been in Jamaica. That's where we could have been. You weren't there. Like, no, absolutely not. Hey, Daddy Leon. Hey, the way Leon looked at Franklin when he said your uncle should have said, oh, we finna get into that. We about to get into that. <laughs> we about to get into that. Because that told me everything I needed to know. Uh, Jerome is the heart of the show. It doesn't feel the same. Yeah, there is seriously an emptiness. Like, 
it's it's gonna be hard because we got we got a few episodes left. Let's see, we won't see Peaches or Lucia, Lu- Lucia. We're not gonna see Lucia again until the spinoff. <laughs> yeah, Sissy is done done. Yeah, because when it was like, I'm trying to come to you, you know, not only as family, but my that's my brother. Like, I don't care about none of that. Like, you still got stuff you care about. And it's just like I'm about to be on some some type some type of rampage and not care about anything because at this point Louie is moving like she doesn't care if she lives or die. The fact that we went into the um the house and we still have wedding gifts stacked to the ceiling, like you it's been one agenda this entire time. You didn't even took a moment. Like when the last time you now, nah, like now nah, you want to look at the wedding photos, now nah, you want to reminisce about oh, uh, we didn't even get to go on our honeymoon. Shut up. <laughs> I'm gonna miss Jerome and his wig, right? <laughs> Let's see. Uh yeah, the show is cold now. Jerome was the one. He was like, it's it's man. I don't think Wanda could handle it if Leon was unalive. <sighs> don't take my dad daddy Leon. Don't take Leon. I love Leon. Even though he's getting on. They were married for five minutes. Like <laughs> I think that's where we get uh, confused with the timeline because you have to remember, like we literally pick up from them getting married, her, you know, going behind the back with Teddy and then Teddy taking Franklin's money and him rolling up on Louie with the whole thing. And we literally pick up episode one from this season from that. Like they've literally been married. I don't think they've been married a month. Like this is a very... um, Maybe, maybe a month, maybe two. It, it hasn't been. It hasn't been a long time. It has not been a long time at all. So, girl, you should have went to Jamaica. We could have been, you know, it's the love of man. We could have been outside, girl. You, you know, oh, she made me sick. Yeah, oh, sissy here with this one tear. Like sissy be acting. <laughs> everybody in this show be acting their butts off like the fact that this show has never been nominated for nothing it's a crime Wanda and Lee need to go back to Ghana we go get into that because Leon what are we doing Leon character weird right now (laughs) what does he even want he don't know okay let me move on from sissy I'm so sorry sissy sissy and that that one glory tear just just breaks my heart sissy says you know what I'm gonna take these braids out and I'm hopping a flight getting into this conversation here I love how we have Leon because Leon like is really affected about you know what happened to Jerome like I don't care what Jerome said to me or the let like that that was my family. We are all family. I can't believe he's gone. It's not gonna be the same without him. This is just crazy. Like OG triple OG. Then you have Franklin's ass over there. Yeah. So <clears throat> Lee, how good is my credit? Like what, what excuse me? <laughs> excuse me. I, 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 I was gonna let him make it with how good is my credit, even though this is a whole time for mourning. Your uncle just died, like. Not even 24 hours ago. <laughs> it's like, how good is my credit? Of course, we're trying to get the rest of this money to pay Gustavo, but read the room. Even with that, I was going to let you have it. You want to know about your credit? Okay. Skip to the scene ahead <laughs> where we're outside. <clears throat> Franklin decides to say, well, you know what? If he hadn't, you know, switched up and followed Louie and, you know, stayed under me, <laughs> he wouldn't have been dead in the first place. Like, <gasps> no, you didn't. That's what we're not going to do. <laughs> when I told you that rubbed me all kinds of wrong, that put me so in the mind of freaking. Oh, hold on, y'all. It's my DoorDash. Hello? Hello? Yes? They're out of ground beef? Can you just, can you just use chicken instead? Okay, thank you. Mm-hmm. Anyway. <laughs> I just didn't 
it, I started thinking about <laughs> the way you picked up that phone, child. Because we go, oh, y'all, we family. We picking up the phone. Y'all thought I was going to be cute and take myself off camera or something. We, I got to eat after this. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it made me think about Franklin from season four. Franklin from season four, who was just all up in his body at the thought of the family maybe wanting to go and do their own thing. Because you got to remember, Louis and Jerome didn't start off like, hey, we just about to just do our thing and go behind your back and go with Teddy, which was all Louis. At first, it was just, I can't remember exactly how, how Franklin was moving season four, but it was just like, he wanted so much control and he was really getting into his, you know, power mode. And it's just like, you know what? I'm, I think he's, you know, not identifying that, you know, we ain't the little minions. We're like, we've been with you this entire time. But it's another thing to be with you and be under you. Like at some point, grown ass people are going to want to go off and venture and do their own thing. Because Nah, we work best when we together. Like that's, that's not rational. It may not be rational to you because you're so used to being in control and, you know, Franklin is Franklin. But it's just like, hey, just give us a chance. As Leon said, give them a chance to go off and do their own thing. If it doesn't work, then fine. You know, they come back. They tried. But, you know, allow them to do that. And yeah, matter of fact, after this whole situation with Khadija and me accidentally shooting the baby, I don't want to do this no more. Nah, I helped you. You owe me like you going to owe. I was like, it was giving that. <laughs> it was absolutely giving, you know, you ain't going nowhere. You going to stay. I just, I, I was just like, oh, so we don't care about putting our uncle in the ground. All right. <laughs> Let's see, if only the door dasher knew we was talking to bouncy reviews, he could have got you that damn ground. Right? Right? <laughs> Who don't have ground beef at the pizza joint? Well, what y'all doing in there? Just brown it. Damn, you ain't never got two things that match. Like, what is this? Let's see, that's how we all know we all distant cousins. <laughs> Franklin getting shot, revved up his paranoia. Man, even with that, I was getting that that energy. Like, and I always felt like him not wanting them to venture out wasn't all about control. I think he he felt that was like his comfort zone, his little net, his cushion of knowing Leon is on my side, my uncle Jerome, Aunt Louie, we come as a unit. It was, you know, it get a little chilly when you're out there by yourself. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's I, I didn't this conversation here told me all I needed to know about the type of stuff that Franklin would be on in this episode. Oh, this one we have Louie waking up from her um you a you a loquacious hoe nightmare. <laughs> like <laughs> she's waking up from this nightmare and this is when we start to see her spiral a little bit more than just being, you know, lost. And what am I going to do without my husband and hurt? Now it's just like, we're going to roll up to the projects and just, just shoot me. Like, just, I don't care. I was like, oh, so we going to get all the way to our lowest to give the same energy that Jerome was giving in episode five when he threw that beeper in the trash can. It's just like, yeah, I, I don't want to do any of this. I want to go back to my former life or I just want to get away from here. But this life, I, I don't want to do this. I'm trying to head to Jamaica. We weren't trying to hear that. But now that, you know, she's lost her everything, we rolling up on Scully. How do y'all feel about Louie rolling up to Scully to confide in Scully? Because, child, I was like, mm. <laughs> it's just something about like, so remember that time, you know, when my, when my husband, <clears throat> that's gone now, when my husband had, you know, killed your baby mama, um, and Leon accidentally killed your daughter. How did you deal with that? I was like, I was like what? 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 Louis needs to do crack for like two seconds when she was breaking stuff in that house and she was looking for stuff. I was like, what's she looking for? <laughs> she was looking for her keys to go. I didn't know what she was looking for at that moment because we're not going to act like Louis wasn't on that charm heavy for a couple seasons. <laughs> Oh man. Yeah, I let's see. Uh Louis was going to do crack. Yeah, I, I, I didn't know at first, but once once she goes and she, you know, asks him that and 
he's just like, you don't think I get upset? Like, I feel like fighting. I feel like beating people up. He gave, he gave it that, 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 that Tyra Banks higher learning speech. But instead, I fight with this. I'm getting mine. That's that's what he said. <laughs> that's what he said to her. <laughs> He's like, you know, I, I feel it. Like, I can't let that overtake me. You know, the grief and the hatred that I have for, you know, what happened to them. I have to still live and keep their memory alive. That's how I deal with this. Like, you, you have to go on. But just this conversation between the two of them, I was like, even Scully pulling up to go rescue her. I was like, Sc something's going on with Scully. <laughs> Something is going on with Scully because the energy that he kind of, it's like real subtle the way that he was looking last episode as far as Leon or whomever was concerned. But this episode and just them pivoting towards him kind of burying I guess his true feelings and he's trying to be at peace with something I was like what if he's not at peace because I know at this point we're all wondering how Leon is going to be taken out because he was looking up upside Dion's head I was like what if it's Scully coming through with this old remorse of I just can't get over this like why was Scully looking at people down at the funeral like that? Like, why, why are you rolling up on Einstein looking like you're looking? I, I don't know. <laughs> it was weird she pulled up on Scully, like, reminded him even further that your family killed him. I swear, I was like, girl, what? <laughs> like, look, come on in, Miss Saint. <laughs> nigga, don't say my name, nigga. Stacy, like, come on in here. <laughs> Come on in here. It is absolutely okay. Scully giving hood shaman. Absolutely. Got his little uh, origami in the background. Like, but I'm like, what if all of this Nam Yo Hoder and Gekyo is not really working? And because Scully like literally changed overnight. <laughs> overnight. We went from, you know, dropping stuff in our ears and our eyes and putting stuff in the in the freaking punch at the wedding and the cake and the whole thing. Like Oh, man. Yes. I'm telling you, to, I fight with this. I'm getting mine. <laughs> I feel like fighting. Like, I, I'm mad out here. But I still have to go on and continue. And you need to do the same thing after Jerome. I see, since Jerome is gone, do you think Scully will kill Leon? I really do. <laughs> I really do because who else would it come from? Because I would be really surprised. Not that I want Leon to die because, oh, my goodness, I'm going to faint. But just with Leon's willingness to continue on and stay where he is and not go back to Ghana like a sensible person. I, yeah, Lord. <laughs> I don't want to lose Leon. I really don't. <laughs> Let's see. Scully, uh, a new, a new ager <laughs> off the psychedelics. But yeah, I just, it, it, um, it gets a little weird when they, talk or he goes to I just I'm just not understanding that I know they came down to you know a peaceful a, a agreement about because he never wanted Khadija to continue on anyway he kept telling her to back off but you know Khadija was living single in the city in the 90s kind of world I'm glad I got my girls like I, I need I want revenge but getting into this what the hell was Franklin dreaming about <laughs> what was Frank we saw what Louis was dreaming about like yeah it was giving whole up wait a minute Y'all thought I was finished when I bought that Aston Martin. Y'all thought it was rented. Ah, it was it was like real dreams and nightmares up in here. I, I wanted to know so bad. I was like, is he stroking out? Is he having a panic attack? A heart a heart attack? Like what? What is going on? No, it's just you know. First of all, we on this this mattress on the floor. I was like, ooh, how the mighty have fallen. Well, y'all y'all ain't in the deluxe apartment in the sky. Like, <laughs> like look at where we are. It is just one agenda i need to lay low to make sure teddy can't find me and i need to make sure i get that money back until then v we own this mattress on the flow at least in one of the air mattress <laughs> but v look really exhausted v look real like yeah when, when i'm have a moment to just put my feet up as a pregnant woman because uh, uh, like i bet that plane with your mama on it looking real good right now <laughs> Like, Lord, he, he was about to take V out with an elbow. Like, what, what are you dreaming about? I was hoping he would say it, but maybe that'll be like a, a running little theme within the show and it'll show us what it is. I'm sure, I'm sure he's stressing out. 
Franklin say uh Franklin got bodies, he got demons. Yeah, it was bodies, bodies, bodies. Maybe it was, you know, one of those type of situations. We already know Franklin going to get snatched up. Oh man. Um probably dreamed <laughs> about when he found out his money was gone. Child, I that'll do it to you cuz it was like, oh, I was like Damn, <laughs> what is happening to him? Teddy would turn on Louie too. He's a CIA spook. Teddy is never to be trusted. We're going to get into her conversation with Teddy because I was like, Ugh. It, it, everything this episode just let me know where everybody was mentally. And that goes for Louie and for Franklin. Oh, let's see. Um, that hideout with V and Franklin is giving Bobby and Carol. <laughs> Thanks, Ray Ray. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> okay, I gotta continue on. <laughs> y'all be cracking me up. <laughs> I love y'all so much. <laughs> okay. Yeah, V is just absolutely over it. I love when they have her natural hair, then they decide they want to slap them little ugly wigs on V. At the funeral, I was like, get that shit off of V's head. Anyway. <laughs> We have Ruben clearly not take heed of Teddy's threats. Like, I don't care. Rolling up. And so I'm like, oh, you're going you gonna to pull a Teddy? <laughs> you're trying to pull a Teddy? Just because Teddy rolled up to your spot, you're going to try to use the same tactics and roll up to Gustavo's to get what you want? Like, I just can't stand when, you know, people trying to roll up and be familiar with you. Don't be trying to be familiar with me just because we both speak Spanish. Every time he roll up on Gustavo, Graziano, I don't know what I'm going to Boy, boy. But what you're not going to do <laughs> is come in here and act like we friends when you have a gun on the table and you're threatening me. The moment he said, you know, this is not negotiable. I need you to make this happen. Just because Teddy put him on a time crunch as far as, you know, what he needs to do. I need Teddy and I need him now. This is not negotiable. Like, can you even deliver on these little false promises? Like, where, where, where's Sissy? Where, did, you, did, you, did you care about Sissy? <laughs> like, <laughs> also, this woman threatens um, to leave him every five minutes. <laughs> she does, but I think at this point, it was just like, you know what? It's one thing for you to be rolling up in here, you know, missing and you're, you're getting caught up. But we got a whole KGB sitting at the table with a gun threatening our lives. And the children are in here. He came into the home. You know what? I think at this point, it might be best if we just leave and we don't tell you where we're going. And I was so glad that Gustavo, of course, agreed. Like, that may be the safest option. Because at this point, what, what is going on? Nobody's to be trusted. <laughs> Everybody is after their own agenda. Nobody is to be trusted. Everybody's trying to accomplish what they set out to do, including Ruben, who probably going to get knocked off by Teddy. Because when Teddy be making them threats... He, he comes from out of nowhere, like, like what, what, where, where, where did you come from? Sneak attack, just gone. <sighs> but it's all right. He don't want to go live his best life with his boyfriend. He still wants Teddy. And we're going to see where it goes from there. Oh, man, got my man stressed out. Leave my Gustavo alone. Y'all know I love Gustavo. But we get into Wanda. Wanda said, I got to go. <laughs> I got to go, Bobby. It's not safe in here. I got to go. <laughs> I have to go. I do not blame her. Like, what exactly are you expecting me to do? I just, I was hoping that this scene would be the wake up moment because he was kind of giving some energy with Jerome and Louis, like, wow. Or even the conversation earlier with Franklin, like we lost Jerome and you're standing here telling me that you know if he would have stayed down then he probably wouldn't have still been alive but yeah what's that how, how good is my credit like yeah if that's what you think about Jerome what's me I, I, I'm gonna be a, another casualty if something happens to me this is this isn't the type of life that I want no we sitting here cleaning our gun talking about where you going and you gonna leave me I just need some more time to get stuff settled and then I can walk away you're never going to walk away. He, I swear, Leon been there for five minutes and fell back into his old habits overnight. Like, And with him wanting her to stick by his side, it made me think about, um, I think that was, I don't know if that was last season or season four, when, I think it was season four, when Wanda was just getting clean. 
and she was begging him for a job. Like, I can't, you know, find anything, no work. Like, can I work? And she's like, no. Why would you still want to be around all that product jeopardizing, you know, your sobriety? I can't help you, Wanda. Like, I would never put you around any of this again. Get out of my face. Like, but now <laughs> one is your whole wife and we're still moving like she's not still in like in recovery. Like it's always every day. Well, Wanda said it's it's hard with all that rock on the street. Like it's hard. <laughs> it is hard out here. Like what what do you expect me to do? And then it's just like, well, you know, if that's what you gotta do, like you can go you know, like this whole face here. You don't get to make a face, Leon. Like, what you need to do is pack your little bag and come with me. Pack your little gunner box and come with me. Matter of fact, let's just go back to Ghana. How about that? Can, can, we, go, can we go back to Ghana? That peace and that happiness that we saw in that one episode where they were in Ghana, we ain't seen none of that on Leon's face or Wanda's. Like, we just got married. You gonna marry me and bring me back to the projects to lay up with you while you commit crime, sell, sell the same crack I was addicted to, and maybe we gonna get shot? Like, nigga, bye. Like, <laughs> I don't got time. Do not have any time for that. Like, Lee is tripping. Lee is tripping. <laughs> Absolutely. I see Wanda, the only character using common sense. Who would have ever thought we'd see today? Like, Wanda, has, Wanda was always, you know, smart, and that's what... um you know, street smart and everything. That's what he liked about her in the first place. But like the fact that it's one thing not to listen to Wanda, you know, your girlfriend, I'm your wife, <laughs> Charles, I'm your wife. I'm ready to get out of here. <laughs> I'm ready to get out of here. Uh, Teddy wants revenge for his father. Child, this, at this point, this ain't even about Teddy's father. Teddy is just being Teddy. Teddy doesn't want to give up that money or want to do like, just because like how dare you try to get from up on those sa that same energy that franklin was giving towards louis and jerome and leon when they wanted to leave he learned it from 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 who he's been sticking to like glue for the past few seasons teddy he gave him that same energy back when he wanted to like oh you just gonna take your money and go all right i'm gonna steal it <laughs> like <laughs> Oh, man. I don't know what Leon's trying to accomplish right now. Like, this whole order and trying to say, you going to set up a crack council? Where they do that at? Like, <laughs> like it's, it is just absolutely crazy. I don't know why he wouldn't recognize what it is and what he's jeopardizing and give it to somebody who wants it, regardless of how he was trying to run it. Give that, give it all back to Dion. Make your little mans. Get your Ghana case and go back to Ghana. But we ain't doing that. We're going to allow our wife to move out. Crazy. All right, Lee. Louis asked Jerome for time and see what happened. Oh, I sure did. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, Tom is never on your side. Absolutely not. You never know what's going to happen. Let's see. If he can loan out 500 k with no issue, they can live like royalty in Ghana. Never was hurting for money. <laughs> Never was hurting for money. Once uh, Franklin was like, you know, hey, bro, that's what you want to do. We go do that. Walked away with all, all of his little money. You know that Leah was never spending a dime. He ain't set up no lavish home, car. He wasn't in no way living like Franklin or, Franklin or like Louis and Jerome. Leah sitting on a dub, like, <laughs> I'm just without Jerome all bets are off ain't nobody safe Leon I've been waiting on them to re-up on security I ain't seen them security officers since the shootout Leon um no Franklin owe him now Franklin said I owe you for a reason what, what are he gonna do with it when are we gonna do that whole tip crack house <laughs> Just notice Franklin and Teddy are one and the same all, all the way, all the way up and down, all the way up and down. That's why they're thinking the same towards the end of this episode. We going to get into that too. Drop in knowledge. Ow. <laughs> Teddy needs to bring someone in. Most of his lead suspects are done with all losses in cases needs. Yeah. Yeah. T Teddy, Teddy works solo. They bring someone in like who Teddy literally has nobody. He's on the outs. That's why the entirety of, I don't know how many seasons now he's been trying to get back in. Like Teddy, them people don't want you. <laughs> They've never wanted you, but he has a problem with that. The same way he had a problem with the treatment for his father. He's trying to prove himself. 
oh, I wonder who's going to die. <laughs> Teddy is expendable. Even his superior. Oh, Lord. When the superiors, what? The nigger killed his father. I was like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> he said it all proud over the little conference. Not, not what? Oh, this is going too far. You got to handle that. I was like, so many people like your own people are about to come for you, Teddy. Teddy, no, Ted, Ted, Teddy don't need no help. Teddy needs to die. That's what I need Teddy to do. You think Teddy and Frank will end up like Jerome and Kane? <sighs> Somebody has to walk away. Somebody has to walk away. Yeah, he said it with the hard ER. <laughs> Somebody has to walk away. Like, hey, Mooch, hey, Mooch, how you doing? Like, somebody has to walk away. I'm about to walk away from Leon right now because his energy and not packing his bag right now with Wanda. I was like, first of all, I was like, Wanda, where you going with them toiletries? <laughs> where you going? <laughs> like, girl, where you going? <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, let's see. Hey, what happened to the bank Lee promised to set up when he got... Ain't none of that happening. None of that is happening. <laughs> okay. Anybody else thought this was tea? I swear I thought this was tea with, with a couple of packs of hair. Was it just me? I probably It probably was me. <laughs> I was like, why is Louie running up to console and get a hug from T? <laughs> I just knew that this was T and I was like, who is this woman? But apparently I don't remember, but just looking at, you know, the little synopsis and things of the show or just cast, she has been uh, a friend or, you know, family to Louie in the past episode. And this is, you know, the closest person that she has to her to go and confide in and just child take a bath and wash the wounds, Lord. But I just knew this was T. I was like, is that T? See, I told Frank. I knew he should have shot her. No, it was it's not T. <laughs> it's not T. This is a cousin, and it's just confirmation of what Jerome said about Louis all along. Like Louis has been through some stuff, according to this story that she tells in the tub about you know getting you know choked out, and I was trying to get twenty dollars, and the abuse at the hands of you know relatives, like sexual abuse. I was like. I mean, we already knew this, but like I said, this is a moment, unlike when she was talking to Sissy, talking to our cousin, we are taking accountability all of a sudden. I was like, I need you to make up your mind. <laughs> I need you to make up your mind. Child, when the cousin said, oh no, baby, it's not your fault. This is not, I was like, you don't know her. <laughs> you ain't been there. You weren't there. We've been there. Like, it, yes, it is. <laughs> but she really feels like, I keep, you know, winding up regardless of how I try to uplift myself with, you know, the money, the position, that connection with Teddy, just to, you know, try to change the dynamics that I went through in the past. I keep winding up here. The common denominator is me. Maybe some of this is my fault. I was like, yeah, yeah, say that and, and say it again to to somebody who matters. Cause yeah, that ain't what you say to Sissy. <laughs> Let's see, Franklin might have to take that L and get locked up. If this show does not end with Franklin getting locked up, this is, you know, real Hollywood because naturally it's always that lowest person on the totem pole as far as the deals that gets, you know, the time in prison. And then somebody like Teddy always walks away and, you know, the, the CIA swoops in and uh, like, you you know, you, you saw the documentaries, you know what happened. <laughs> Let's see, Franklin would go to jail for everything and start a war on drugs uh, in this timeline. The CIA would get rid of Teddy and make him a loom for the ultimate patriot. Uh, Louis may die. Child, that, that's how it goes. That's how we know it to go. But with this being like a TV show, I'm not sure how logical we're going to be. Because if we're going to be logical, child, everybody's supposed to be gone. Everybody should, Louis supposed to be dead. Franklin's supposed to be in prison. Leon's supposed to be dead and Wanda's supposed to be back on the pipe. If we're going to be like real about it. But I don't want to see that. <laughs> I don't want to see that. Oh, it sounds about right, right? Um, one time for Jerome and Louis, Siri play <laughs> Sin for Me by Atlantic Star. What's going to happen with Sissy? I think Sissy's going to leave. I, I, I just, I feel like Sissy, I felt like she was saying bye. Did anybody feel like she was saying bye this episode? It wasn't like, you know, condolences. It was just like, 
goodbye. It felt like goodbye. This is when Louie, like, when her little acceptance in the tub just got thrown in the garbage for me. It was just like, oh, maybe some of this is my fault. And I was like, okay, maybe there's a ray of hope. Then you have a, yes, white man. Like, with everything that's happened, you would think that this would be the last thing she wants to do. You don't have to answer to Teddy for nothing. (laughs) You know the position that, that Teddy is in, like... It's just like, yeah, yeah, I'm not meeting you on my time. I'll meet you one. I'll meet you at three. Like, yeah, but you're still going. <laughs> you're still going. You're still meeting up with him as battered and bruised as you are. You're about to lay your husband to rest. You're still going to meet up with him. Like, I just, I just really didn't like that. I was hoping in this moment she would tell, like, I just lost my husband. I'm physically, mentally, emotionally hurt. Get off my phone, Teddy. Like, no, it's like, I'm, I'm going to meet up with you. Like, fine, girl. Go, go on, go on, go on. Like, we, we ain't learn no lessons. <laughs> we ain't learn anything. <laughs> you should have seen, like, T- Teddy's little reactions these past episodes are killing me. Even, like, just to have any pushback from somebody like Louie. Like, yeah, what? It's like, oh, uh, I've been uh, I've been paging you. Like, didn't you get, yeah, well, I need, I need to see you today. Like, no, I'll be there tomorrow. <laughs> It was giving like when when Franklin killed is like dad dad can you hear me no no he can't, <laughs> he can't. <laughs> what if Teddy kills and kidnaps why would you put that there why would you put that there don't be Dark Vader in the comments don't put that in the ether <laughs> no <laughs> oh wasn't Sissy working with the KGB what happened yeah I was waiting on that. You have yet to see Ruben roll up on her or Franklin in a very long time. Like they just, it's just all about Gustavo because once again, everybody's after their own agenda. He found an additional loophole that seems like he can get him Teddy a little bit quicker than the likes of Sissy or Franklin. I'm talking to the wrong people. Like y'all don't matter anymore. So probably all those promises that were made, just like the ones he making to Gustavo, we were not going to make good on them. Let's see. I said last week, um, if at if at the is that the end of the season, end of the season, uh, V took some money and left Franklin to be on an island somewhere with her mama. <laughs> I wouldn't be mad at that. Now, I don't. I don't put it past nobody because V was looking like, ain't I'm pregnant? When I'm gonna relax? <laughs> Teddy uh, would do that. He already killed Franklin's father. Absolutely. Let's see, child, but that that I just I just went here for yeah, white man. Like, girl, you calling him white man or acknowledging the fact that Teddy's white doesn't mean anything. Why aren't you holding him as accountable as you seem to hold Franklin for everything? Like he he's you know the day one blamer. <laughs> like where everything comes Franklin's way though, and not hers or Teddy's. But yeah, we have Franklin like really also oh, not you rolling up here and is what you mean FBI and CIAs and KGBs like what like I love when also also is exhausted also is a man of few words just like yeah oh so I can't get that that passport to you I can't just like oh lord I got a Lucia like I don't know (laughs) I just don't know what to do I don't know what to do I love I love them together like I want my boys to make it out (laughs) I want my boys to make it out, but I think we all know, like, that's just not going to happen. Also, is an informant now. Informants don't never make it out. They they don't. <laughs> they absolutely don't. The best thing that I loved about this scene was just finally somebody saying, because also knows that's why he went to Franklin instead of trusting the KGB or like, no. Teddy is not going to be an easy person to take down. Like he's always on high alert, a couple of steps ahead. He is a smart man, despite what we think about him. He is calculated. You're going to have to be as equally calculated to capture him, harm him, shoot him, turn him in, any of that. The only person I know who might be able to do it is somebody like Franklin. That's why I went to him. But when he said that, the best thing that we would have to do is to make Teddy think that it was his idea and that he has the one up and he's, you know, capturing Franklin at that moment. 
so smart <laughs> so freaking smart such a great idea because i'm like everybody like oh we just need to get like to getting teddy you know how many people don't want a teddy at this point teddy got like nine lives oh <laughs> uh, let's see uh it ain't it ain't gonna end well for nobody that's the drug game yeah the alphabet boys all up on saint in the company yeah it's, it's getting hectic out here they literally bullied Oso into this. <laughs> he ain't had no choice but to do this. Yeah, you know Oso is loyal to the end. The fact that at this point, it's just like, I'm. if you need Teddy, you can have Teddy. Like, I'm just trying to get my family and get my people out of here. But just remember, it's not only you that wants Teddy. Everybody wants Teddy. Even the CIA at this point, via, he called him a nigger. <laughs> the nigger killed his father. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Back off. <laughs> Yeah, like you you have to move. You have to act now before it's too late and you don't have that opportunity. And if you can get, you know, the passport and that money to me, that, 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 that'll be cool too. But I, I just love, I just love the support that they have for each other. And just, just me imagining in my head that maybe my mans can make it out. They not. <laughs> Do your also impersonation again. He was. He was like, you're oh so I can't get them past for oh that little Santa guy. Oh my god, who's yeah, no Franklin, I don't know what to do, man. I mean I'm rocking a hard place. I don't know. <laughs> Let me stop. We gonna be here forever. <laughs> we have freaking Louie here who rolled up with all the smoke and all the attitude. Like, girl, what, what does that mean? You giving attitude and like, yeah, I don't care anymore. No, you still care because you showed up. <laughs> you still showed up. And I was like, man, I, I low key was thinking that um, Teddy might pull up to the funeral. Cause the moment, cause he never, he didn't know anything about Gustavo, not Gustavo, about Jerome dying. And it's just like, yeah, I'm burying my husband. So I was like, why are you giving out all this information? <laughs> I'm burying my husband and, you know, Franklin is to blame. And after this today, you know, I slid him from his balls to like, shut up, Louie. But, you know, until then, I just, yeah, get out of my face. Like, not you still trying to act control, not not looking like I love when she was like, yeah, yeah, what happened to you? It was a misunderstanding. Like, <laughs> Louie looks just so freaking bad. What y'all laughing at? My also impression. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, also be cracking me up. Also, he got a crew, I guess. No, he does not. It's just always been him and Teddy. Franklin, <laughs> my Franklin impression is funny. I be trying, y'all. Oh, God. She's still blaming him. Yeah. Just like I said, we go back and forth with this accountability. Like, oh, it's, it's, it's maybe it's my fault or maybe, but you know, in front of Teddy, all of a sudden it's all Franklin again. Like you're looking dead ass at the problem, but it's just like, yeah, whatever you want to do after tonight or today, what is it? Is, is, oh, she just get on my nerves. Like, she, Oh, she get on my nerves. <laughs> oh Lord. Net to nuts. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> she can't get over that. She's leaving herself open to getting killed. Absolutely. Like, I don't think she realizes just how, you know, expandable she is. Like, he's only, he's thinking just like Franklin. We're two sides of the same brain. I need you to set up something for me to get to Franklin. What do you think Franklin is planning to use her for at this freaking funeral? Let's get into the... Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, mm -hmm. so sad. Mm -hmm. It was so freaking. Oh, we we gonna skip over <laughs> the nigger. <laughs> oh lord, this little this, they gonna they gonna demonetize me and not let me get a coin for my little life now because I said the er on it. Oh, we can't even skip over this. I forgot all about this. This was like confirmation for me that sissy was leaving. Cause she was like, yeah, I just can't, I can't do this. Let me give you, you know, hand over the, not only help you with an apartment, but I'm gonna, you can have the shelter. Like you can run it. I'm like, where are you going? Sissy, sissy is about to pull, pull a disappearing act. I was really happy though, to see her or just in the show in general, helping Wanda. Cause somebody need to help Wanda. 
it ain't gonna be daddy leon <laughs> leon ain't doing anything that we need him to do oh let's pause it i really miss my nigga white people you can sing it too just change that into a w saying i Mm, mm, mm. really miss my nigga <laughs> let's see i was singing ready or not here i come you can't <laughs> yes the beat dropped and it was just this ominous dark feeling the episode looked so freaking dark i was like wow we really about to put jerome in the ground <laughs> like, <laughs> i just freaking couldn't i thought like i was I thought that they were going to do like an open casket situation because, you know, nothing happened to it. But we did. It was closed. I was like, I can't I can't take seeing Jerome, you know, laid out in the casket. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that, Jackie. Don't do that. But we are here where some of us, let's say some of us are here to pay our respects to Jerome because this nigga here in the black suit with the tie and the, the, the glasses on, you know, his nephew, he wasn't there for that. <laughs> he was absolutely not there for any of that. The moment that we have also not <laughs> big Dion with the Candyman coat. <laughs> I heard you're looking for Candyman, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, we have you've got Einstein standing here like, what? What's what's up with him? Like, I'm telling y'all, Scully is about to pop off. I don't know when, I don't know where, but it's going to happen. Scully is about to pop off and he's going to pop off on my daddy Leon. He's going to take out my Leon. And I just, I can't handle that. Like Leon made me so mad in this scene at the funeral. We're going to pause on these two because I was about to hurt Franklin. When we have Wanda like standing there and she's like, pretty that could be us. That could be me. I could be Louie standing there crying over your body just like them we just got married everybody spoke on the love and all of this and how great jerome was and how much everybody cared he's gone like he's like yeah you know i'm still by your side right yeah right now leon like leon isn't moving the way i need him to move so that's leading me to think that our boy is gonna die like i'm not prepared for that and i don't i don't want to I don't want to see that. <laughs> I absolutely don't want to see that for my man's like, man, that, that hurts. Like, I just, I just want him to go. Facts. He been quiet too long. Yeah. It's major facts. Scully. Scully is about to pop off. And I think he's going to be the one to take out Leon. You heard it here first. <laughs> well, I don't know what other reviewers and stuff y'all be watching. I don't really be watching nobody. But me personally, I feel like he is going to be the one to take out our boy. And it's just going to be like out of nowhere. Because that will be the surprise. Because it's not going to be, you know, Dion was here with his Candyman coat. You know, the plaid with the fur. <laughs> boots with the fur. But it's just like, hey, are you going to take care of the dudes that did this to Jerome? And I was confused because Leon was like, yeah. I was like, but they all did already. Like, what? Um, <laughs> it was like we already did that been there done that but you know hey getting into this freaking scully is the calm before the storm i'm telling you he finna give some of that y'all remember when uh lockdown 2000s lockdown that movie when he went to you know get all charged up before he killed graffiti and he got he got all prepped and rolled up on the yard where they was listening to that gospel music <laughs> I think I think he's finna get some of that. Oh Lord, like <laughs> it's finna get real, real hectic. <laughs> he finna pull a switch up. Oh, let's see. Uh, it's weird that Scully is only blood at the funeral, full of crips. I think that's why he looked at him. It could be, it could be, but at this point, I just really. I don't know. He's using that LA accent. <laughs> Leon's going bye bye. No, Leon. You want Leon dead. Of course not. Nobody wants that. Uh, is this the season giving 80s again? Last season wasn't. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, last season when we got into the Tiger King and whatnot, I was like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> but this season is a whole lot better. Uh, they are all loose ends now. The game didn't change, man. The game changed right here. Like it had been changed. Franklin in his one heavy agenda. I was like, can we just pay respects for like five minutes? Like five minutes to 
everybody went up the fact that he was the only one who went up to Unk's casket and it was to you know say what he says to louis in a minute but like as far as really being he really feels like Unk. I love you, but you're a freaking casualty. That's that's what you get for following behind Louie. Like, you have him here, just like with, with freaking Leon. Like, I can't believe this. You know, how good's my credit, Leon? It's like, oh, my God. Flinking, I'm so sorry about your uncle. Like, oh, this is this is so sad. Lucia. And then it's like, yeah. Meet me, you know, at the repast. Like, sir! <laughs> we can't have to. We literally cannot have five freaking minutes. Really, Franklin? <sighs> Chow, meet me at the repast. So, so it's like, okay, all right. Once we get, let, let, let me get, get into my boy, because I swear I went down all kind of rabbit holes, <laughs> the Black Sopranos. Oh, we can't pass over Buckley Lion. Like, don't, don't show up here with lies. Like, he, he didn't call, beep you, nothing. Send, send a pigeon out for your ass to come help with you know, oh nope uh, huh what nope what you said crack what'd you say no nah, we ain't saying nobody no crack buckley <laughs> did jerome reach out to you it's just like no what no, no never said that who said that no he didn't he, he never did <laughs> like, i'm sure that she knows that buckley is lying and we'll see how you know they deal with that in the end but child what does that really matter at this point louie Oh, when Sissy walked up to the casket and all she said was, I'm sorry. I was like, Sissy about to leave. Sissy showed up rocking rough and stuff with an Afro puff. Sissy is about to dip the freak out all the way. But man, once we got into the ending, before we got to see freaking Uncle Clifford in the back of this episode, I was like, "Who? why, why Uncle Clifford of P-Valley sitting behind Aunt Louie? When I tell you I was zooming in, <laughs> taking snapshots, I was like, is that Uncle Clifford? I was like, it is Uncle Clifford. I know, know that face anywhere. It was given rule, you know, 1,658 at the pink. Never show up to a funeral, not dressed to the, to the gods. Like <laughs> Uncle Clifford is in a whole freaking episode of Snowfall from season two. But it's like a really brief cameo. He's just walking around Claudia's club. But I, I, they, they had sent me for a loop for a minute because Jerome was just... Jerome. Not Jerome. Damn it. <sighs> Uncle Clifford was just sitting back there. Yeah, I had... You know how long it's been since I seen freaking Snowfall Season 2? It's been a very, very long time. Uh, probably trying to keep his eye on roulette. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Clifford hosted the drag night at the club. Yeah, I, I went and looked it up. But at the time, I hadn't remembered, you know, any of that. I was like, is this a long lost relative? Like, why is, why is Uncle Clifford sitting in the back? Oh, look at Louie's face. She, oh, my gosh, she just looks so bad. Pulling up to the ending here. Shall we have Dion acting like what I already went? Like, don't, 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 don't pull up with the smoke right now at, at this spot. This should all just be confirmation for Leon to freaking move around. What you mean you gonna get? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna get him. Get him. We, we already got him. Like, get get, get out my face. <laughs> Imagine if Melanie was there at the funeral. That if we get an appearance from Melody, that would be so fire. <laughs> She ain't gonna do nothing but roll up. Frankly, did you kill my daddy? That's all she gonna say. She ain't gonna say nothing else, but I love to see her. <laughs> How we get into this ending scene and we have Louie like, no, first of all, I knew something was like astray because we have Franklin moving the way he's been moving the whole episode. He don't care about none of this. Like, girl, please. <sighs> Once he rolled up and said, you know, what you need from me, auntie? I was like, oh, Lord. <laughs> Oh, Lord. If it had been, you know, Louis initiating the conversation and, you know, opening up, like, why did you come back for me? That would be different. Rolled up with what you need from me, auntie, because I need something from you. That connect that you said, you know, you, you could get, Teddy, I need all the help I could get. I was like, wow. <laughs> The agenda is real with this one. The force is strong with this one. Like, Dion does look like can't leave Dion in that coat alone. <laughs> oh, I wanted to keep warning him. Yeah, it's, it's, it's one too many warnings. Getting into 
him, of course, from what I can tell, trying to use Louis the same way that Teddy is. And I'm hoping that she recognizes that. But just, you know, I think everybody was in the comments last video. It's like, well, what are you talking about, Tyra? He didn't, um, Franklin went back for, which I said also, that that little thread of nothing he fed her. Like, yeah, you know, my mama raised me right. And <laughs> she said, you know, you would never, you know, disrespect a woman. I just couldn't leave you there. But, you know, if you want to be real about it, <laughs> I need that connection to Teddy. That condescending, I came back because, you know, your family, you're a woman, or even, you know, the factor of coming back for Jerome. I'm sure that played a part in it. We came, they didn't come back for the girls. They came back for the base. He came back for that money. <laughs> he came back for the prospects of getting that money. Was he going to say that right at that moment? Absolutely not. Because, of course, Kane was trying to test his gangster. I'm sure it was like, nah. Same way, you know, he waited till he got far away enough to even try to contact Jerome. <sighs> when she called Franklin, like, you know you the devil, right? Like, I was like, well, <laughs> nobody's perfect in this scenario, but just to know that there was some agenda in this all along, that's crazy. The only thing we can do now is to just wait and see how everything plays out. Because I'm sure Franklin is smart enough to know that Louis ain't your friend. <laughs> Louis has not been your friend or your nothing like for a minute. It will be very easily for her to conspire with Teddy. And the same thing goes for um for Franklin. But the thing to wait and see would be, you know, is Louis really walking this talk about cutting him from, you know, his nuts to his neck and all this other stuff towards Franklin? Or are you gonna spare him in the same way that he kind of spared you? Though it may have been for, you know his own agenda and we did lose Jerome, which is not his fault, but hey, oh, let, 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 let me see what, what y'all say in these comments. <laughs> he said, don't forget, <laughs> he really did. He saved her life, Teddy didn't. That's what I'm saying, maybe she'll, you know, maybe this will, maybe the family thing will come back into play. Do you guys think that Louis is gonna make it out of this alive? Oh, uh, let's see. She can't get uh, bygones be bygones. <laughs> uh, uh, Franklin is willing to sacrifice his uncle to get his way. Absolutely. Like, not even, it was, I'm sure it didn't like cross his mind that Jerome would die, but it was like, I can use her. That's crazy. Louis is more valuable to him. Thank that thing's supposed to be than Unc. Yeah, like, it's just crazy to see them wind up. Thank you for the three dollar super chat. Uh, uh. Oh, hold on. Where's where's my food? Cause you know they be playing or what's taking? Oh, hold on. Get my food. I could mute the mic. Hold on. Let me be professional. Yeah. Let me mute that. Where's where's my mic? So ain't nobody hear me say get the food. You know what? Let's wrap this up. <laughs> Let's wrap this up. Because people acting like they ain't hear me yell, get my food. Anybody? Children? <sighs> I can't never have nothing around here. Anyway. <laughs> he should have never trusted Kane either. All of that. All of that. Hey. Hey, we about to get off. Like You gonna have to catch the playback. I'm so glad you made it though. Uh, let's see that facial expression he made when she called him the devil. Man, like, it was like, I don't want to be, but I am. Like, what's good? You you going to do what I need you to do or what? <laughs> like, <laughs> I saved your life. Oh, Lord, she's already caught by the DEA. Yes, she is, because Gustavo did say, as we saw, they only have pictures of her. There are no pictures of you. Oh, man. If, if if Franklin just happens to get away, like that, that would be crazy. <laughs> and cra uh, Kane was crazier than Scully. Oh yeah, uh, Kane was a Bond villain. Like he was one step away from muhu ha 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 ha. Like, sir, you gonna burn her? <laughs> oh man. 
What y'all laughing at me and my food? Like, I can't never have nothing around here. <laughs> Franklin, no, Jerome wasn't uh, close to Teddy. He can get Teddy, get to Teddy through Louie. Yeah. Hey, hey, thank you so much for being here, even though I'm about to get off. I was so, thank you for the super chat. I ain't finished talking about my $3. <laughs> thank you for my $3 super chat. He walked in, he walked up on Louie like Big Red. My office hours are for nine to five. He really was. All he needed to do was, you know, swipe some, some hair out his face. <laughs> Oh man. But what do you guys see happening for the next episode? Which, you know, who who's going to die basically cuz that's what's about to happen. A lot of people are going to go to jail and a lot of people are going to die. I don't think I think we're going to lose also. I really do. I think we're going to lose Leon and I'm about to lose my mind cuz did nobody get my food. I'm going to mute this microphone. I just, I just hate it here. Cause you know, as a mother, let you open a personal snack in silence on the side of your bed to eat by yourself. Everybody hear that. But I yell at the top of my lungs. Nobody can hear me. You know, yeah. Oh, let's see. Also, definitely <laughs> Isaiah, honestly, his ego went uh, unchecked for too long. Scully kills Leon, right? That's what I said. Ah, I hate it. <laughs> Ruben dying. Oh yeah, Ru Ruben. Ruben ain't take heed. Teddy does not deliver anybody's idle threats. It's a bloodbath. Uh, Franklin, about your food. <laughs> Every fucking thing else. Like I can't have nothing. <laughs> I'm gonna take care of this. Like God, get my damn food from the door. <laughs> it's, it's pissing me off. <laughs> oh Lord. But y'all, that was my recap for Snowfall. Like, the show is getting so good. Like, what we supposed to watch after? I don't be watching Power Universe shows, like, outside of Raising Canaan. They need to come out with some more stuff, like, seriously. <laughs> uh, why you send your son to bring your food? Because they're not listening to me. Like, everybody's acting like they can't hear me. I, 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 I don't know why. I don't know why. And it's not like it's just personally my food. It's our food. Y'all just going to leave it outside? Okay. CIA not even trying to kill Franklin. Yeah, everybody wants Teddy. <laughs> it's like, oh, well, he killed his father? Well, you know what? Well, yeah, we need to get rid of him. Like, not not we need to get rid of Franklin. We need to get rid of Teddy. He's a liability at this point, and he's losing it. Uh, BMF. Oh God, I want to watch that. <laughs> I just, I just, you know, this was my filler of my selling crack in the '80s shows. This was that show for me. I, I really don't want to watch any more shows with that narrative. I would really like to watch something else. Like. <sighs> Uh, watch Showtime Yellow Jackets. I will check. Is it black people? <clears throat> when I say shows, I mean like black shows. Like, cause nothing against the other people, <laughs> but just um, with you know my channel and the stuff that I like to for us to converse about. That's just it. Would be nice to have some of that. Like most of the the Caucasian shows I love. I watch those alone. I don't be want to talk about those. I just be want to chill in my bed. Like, what was that? The Last of Us? I was watching the hell out of The Last of Us. But some stuff I just don't be want to get on here and talk about. I just be want to chill and just eat my snacks and just enjoy the show and not be all like, uh, I'm going to notate that so I can say it in the review. Just, I just be want to relax. <laughs> uh, Franklin is going to get caught slipping and get locked up. Mm. Yeah, I mean, he's tunnel vision. He's not thinking straight anymore. Uh, Godfather of Harlem. Yeah, Lamont told me to watch that. I started it. Some some stuff I just, I just, it, it don't be enough hours in a day. BMF is too slow for me. I don't know. All of the Charles, Charles, all of the memes, all the other stuff. I, I might check it out, but that's not, you know, something that I was just jumping up to watch. Uh, I ain't watching nothing after this. I got to get some fresh air. <laughs> 
All right, y'all. Uh, let's see. Mixed multitude of girls in survivor mode. Somebody else told me to watch Yellow Jackets, so I'm going to check it out. Bel Air, good, just not uh anything action packed. Yeah, I watch Bel Air is another show that I watch, and I just I just be wanting to chill and watch it, you know. But y'all, that was my review. Thank you so much for being here. All I think 65 people who showed up. Hit the like button before you step out and go, you know, to somebody else's live. Hit the like button for me. I'm about to go get my food since I got to do every fucking thing. I got to do everything <laughs> since nobody else wanted to get my food. But I appreciate you guys so much for sitting with me and talking with me and commenting all that good stuff. I will see you guys next week just like this. Bye. I ain't supposed to be here. Let me get out of here. <laughs>